Well, a fight over an 18th century piece of art has landed the Museum of Fine Arts in federal court. The museum is trying to keep the painting, but the descendants of a previous owner say he was forced to sell it under duress to the Nazis during World War II. Janelle Bluda has the story. Prize thief among the high Nazis was Hermann Goering. It was the 1930s. Nazi leader Adolf Hitler was confiscating cultural property from other countries during World War II, including precious art. During the war, there was an effort by allies to recover that stolen art. The group of people doing that became known as the Monuments Men. If you're reminded of a 2014 George Clooney movie, you're on the right track. That movie, based on a book written by Robert Edsel. To try and protect cultural treasures from the destruction of war. Speaking to us today, Edsel keeps that effort alive through his foundation. And that's where the Houston Museum of Fine Arts enters the picture. The painting in question is this. This, the Marketplace at Perna by Bernardo Bellotto, circa 1764. It is believed to be the one gifted to the museum in 1961 by art collector Samuel Kress. Now, here's one of the arguments. The painting once belonged to German businessman Max Emden. His descendants claim Emden was forced to sell the painting to Hitler's art dealer Karl Haberstock under duress, as his assets in Germany were seized by Nazis. When you strip them of the things that they've spent their life building up and earning, they're going to make whatever decisions they have to make to survive. But the museum argues otherwise. In a statement, they say they have evidence that Emden shopped the painting around in other countries and that Hitler's dealer gave Emden his full asking price for the piece, saying the sale was voluntary. I'd like someone to describe to me how there can be, ever be a level playing field when you're negotiating with Adolf Hitler and you're a Jew. The museum also maintains Emden's son never filed a claim for the painting when he did make claims for other assets. But Edsel says there are many factors working against the museum, including a 2019 Germany ruling that returned two other Bellotto paintings to the Emden heirs. All they have to do is take the painting off the wall and give it back to the heirs and, you know, the matter's closed. The issue is now in federal court. The museum has filed a motion to dismiss. They are waiting on the judge's ruling. If you'd like to look more into this, we have both parties' full statements on our website. Back to you.